Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to install any service as a Windows service. Alright, using NSSM, that is nothing but non sucking service manager. They have clearly said like NSM is a server a service helper which doesn't suck because you know there are many other tools that create so many problems while doing you know while installing the service in background or something they are saying you, you can see that you see if if NSSM used to monitor the you know running service and it will restart automatically if it dies automatically all right so take care of many other stuffs so it's a very great tool all right so what you you can download from here this is the website nssm.cc and click on download and then you can download it from here as I have already downloaded it so once you download you will see something like uh, uh, 32 bit and 64 so I'll execute from 30, uh, 64 bit and now once you download right and then you will be able to install so many services using the NSM there is, there is a command using which you can you know see like actually where those are running and whether that what's the state of that so for that there is a command powershell command i mean to say so you use this command as zoom in this is the one i'll just copy and i'm already having a running a powershell, PowerShell, uh, PowerShell window over here you can see i'll just paste it here and i'll hit enter you can see there is a one service called grafana which is running you know using the same uh, exe and ssm and ssn.exe all right so there is a catch here i'll just see i'll show you that if you remove this condition from here which is nothing but this now it should show all the services these are the same services which is nothing but from service.msc i'll show you that also service.msc these are the same services which we are seeing over there also but whatever is installed via nsm that's why we are putting a filter so that we can see or you can see from here so if i say grafana which you should be able to see yeah it's here but it is installed by nsm so that's why it's showing over there okay now i'll just minimize this one clear this so what i'll do i'll just create uh, you know a new service in windows service using nsm and ssm all right and what you can do from this path where you actually have the nssm.exe you simply execute it so it will give you help what all commands you need to know to install remove restart so it's saying there are there are so many uh, commands are there you can see that start stop restart status all that stuff all right and there is another way also you can just double click on the txe it will give you on the pop-up you can see it's a windows message and showing all the commands over here right all right so i have one exe which is on uh, this path console yeah it's here so i'll what i'll do in, in my one of the previous video i'll show you i, I have shown you right uh, console there is a tool for uh, doing the service discovery and the load balancing and i have installed that service right using the windows sc.exe so I'll take that same exe and I'll install that exe using the nsm and ssm.exe. All right. So this is the one. So for that, what I'll do, I simply need to say um, nsm nssm.exe uh, exe space install. So I have captured the command over here. You can see. So nssm.exe install. This is the service name so you give it after the install and then the path of the exe whatever the command to execute that exe so it's three things give the exe name i mean that nsm.exe second is what you want to do that uh, function that is nothing but like uh, install i want to install it if you want to restart you say restart if you want to start you say start stop like that those commands so the command is install and then the what's the service name i'm saying console and the path and not the path actually whatever is required all the parameters everything including the first parameter should be the exe and it depends on the by the exe the first the parameter is the exe and all the supporting parameters for that particular exe so it's nothing complicated right it's very simple so you copy everything full if you want to install any other exe you will be saying till here exactly same then you will be giving this new service name and the path of the exe that's it Alright, so since I am installing console, that's why I'm giving this path along with the, some extra supporting parameters. So I'll say copy and paste it over here. 
and before entering i'll just show you there is nothing called console is here there's nothing okay so i'll just say hit enter you can see it started now let's see the status from the previous command not this one this is for all this is the one right you can see it's uh, showing now there is one more exe got installed using the uh, using the nsm and ssm all right which is running as a console now i'll just go back to service.msc over here i hit f5 and then you see console should be yeah it's here if you double click it will show that it it is uh, you know installed via nssm.exe all right now it's when you install it by default the state will be in, uh, not started so you can, as you can see here also showing is stopped so what you do you simply copy the uh, display name i mean the service name and you say the same exe space say start and then paste that you can see it's starting now i'll just show the state you can see it's showing the running all right let's see whether it's really running or not i just uh, show you from the port it used to run on the 8500 you can see it's running over here now what i'll do i'll simply say stop now other features that you can stop restart that you can do from service.msc also from here also i'll simply say stop now you can see it's stopped okay now i'll refresh it you can see it's a stop all right similarly there are other commands also what you can do you, uh, you can see you have already seen the pop up in the help of the same exe like restart um, i mean stop and all right now let's see how to remove it it's same thing just simply say remove it's saying remove yes okay you can see it's removed now let's see the status you can see there is nothing all right one more thing i just want to show assume you might have installed and install it again so that you can i'll show you that one so this is the command i was using to install it's installed now i'll just show you status it's showing it's stopped now assume while installing you might have entered some wrong parameter or like i told you know if i go back to the notepad here assume this is the path after that you have to give the exe and all the supporting parameters and what if what if, if you entered something wrong or by mistake you entered something wrong so there is a way to correct it so what you can do you simply say same exe space you here you use edit and then give the service name which you have used while installing since i have used uh, the same name i am saying console and hit enter you can see it's showing this pop-up window it's a dialog window so here you, you are getting all the arguments are here you can if you made a mistake you can correct it from here all right it has have it has other information also all right once you change the parameter simply say edit service and then done I'll say cancel. Okay. Thanks very much.